Hey guys, this is Loomis, and I'm back again with another Langris Mobile video. So as a follow-up to my Apex Arena Mercenary Review Guide this week, a thought occurred to me that there's one unit in particular that a number of players may not have a lot of experience using, but are going to be using him because he is just so damn good. And that unit, as I'm sure you guys can guess, is Landius. We, are, we have been blessed with a 6-star Landius in the Mercenary box that is sure to, unless you have a boosted Landius already, is going to make your team better. So I thought I'd just go over a high level summary of how Landius works and the thing and, and the things that make him work. Um, so for the players who don't have a ton of experience using Landius, they can hopefully be able to use him a little bit better and help uh, and have him help climb the Apex Arena ladder this weekend. So to start, uh, Landius is in two factions, the Protagonist faction and the uh, Legends faction. Now he is also a Legend faction buffer, so he is you know, giving a faction buff to a number of very good units, such as the Stealth. And um, additionally, so his talent here, um, if he takes an action, so if he, if he, let's say he moves forward and he hits weight or uses his faction buff or whatever he does, if there's an ally within three blocks, he'll increase his attack by 20%. And he will add 20% of his attack to his defense and his magic defense. This is, you know, very helpful for tanking, obviously. Um, and then additionally, when he's hit by a ranged attack, he will take 20% less damage and he launches a counterattack. So unlike other tanks, any mage or archer or anybody who is attacking with two range uh, thinks about attacking Landius, they're going to get hit back pretty hard. So it's just a good way to, you know, potentially make your opponent think twice about just trying to attack your tank. Now for skills. Landius is always going to be bringing this indomitable passive skill. This is his revive. Um, now, because it's a passive skill, unlike Vargas's, which is on talent, um, it can be negated. So if you give him a uh, passive negate debuff, uh, Landius, and, and you kill him while that's active, Landius will not be able to revive. So this is something you have to watch out for. If your opponent inflicts that on you, you know, just be careful. Landius can um, get one shot then and will not revive. The second skill is um, his faction buff, Respl Resplendent Legend. This gives, you know, just the normal faction buff stat ups, but it will also give an, a damage buff um, to whenever you're attacking a unit that you're not, you do not have super effective damage against. So if Landius were to attack a mage, he'd get 15% extra damage. If you were to attack an infantry unit, he would not. The third is his guard skill, Tranquility. Um, so it obviously has a passive guard, but it also has a command aura that reduces critical rates um, within recruits re decreases the crit rate received by any unit within the command by 30%, and also gives them 15% less um, range damage. Now it's a, it's 5% less than his 20%, so you know he does not give this to himself. But 15% less range damage is a decent amount, so that helps counter you know things like Zeradas or any other assassins. And then when his guard is active. Um, it increases both the guard range and the command range by one square, so two and three squares respectively. The other skill that you might use depending on how your band pick goes and what your team is using is Route here, um, which has no damage mod on it, just does you know the regular damage, but it pushes the target two, back, two blocks back and stuns them. Um, now this stun you can dispel, so if you're going to run it, you're going to want to time it properly so you you know you, you it just doesn't get dispelled right away and whoever you routed can move again uh, instantly so it's just something you have to be careful of um, because the Landius mercenary does not have it I'm not gonna go over it but he also can carry Sun Slash if he wants a more damaging skill but the mercenary Landius does not have it so it does not matter. Now Landius his one soldier choice is Royal Cavalry. Um, I hope you have them built um, he really does not have any other options because these are his only soldier that gives him any sort of tankiness. Um, so I have them at level 10. So when Landius, or sorry, when the soldier HP is above 80%, he takes 45 less, or the soldier takes 45% less physical damage. So that's uh, you know obviously very tanky. Um, these other soldier options don't really give him any tankiness, and they also generally reduce his move. So those are two things you don't want. So just run Royal Cows on him. And I will show you just real quick in action what Landius buff looks like, just so you guys have a good visual example. Um, because United Will, you know, we can talk about it, but you know, sometimes I think it's just easier to see something rather than just hear about it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this map. Um, whoops, wrong one. I am 
going to open up. I want to open up the Lester one. I, I like the Lester one because you can put some units out there and it does not charge you Stam if you want to retreat. All right, so, so we have Landius here and we'll put Close here and we have Bozel here. So we can just hit start. <clears throat> so as you can see, Landius here, he has no buffs. He has uh, just his command, which is coming from his Tranquility. So I will move him forward and I will use Tranquility here. So now his guard range is extended. And you saw the United Will thing pop up there. So now you can see, because he had a unit within three squares of him, or an ally within three squares of him, his attack plus 20 and the conversion happen. And with his guard range, now he has you know the extra guard range and all friendly units um, have the uh, lower crit rate and the less range damage. And as you click on close here, you can see that she also now has that command range. So I'm gonna rewind here and I will show you what happens if you move him when there's, when there's no one within three squares. So let's say I move him up here and I, just, I just let him wait. He does not have the United Will conversion. Um, so just be mindful when you're moving around your Landius that you're going to want that um, extra stat boost uh, because it makes him significantly more powerful and more tanky. So that's it for the review on Landius, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And as always, if you liked uh, this video, I really appreciate it if you could hit that like button and, um, and subscribe to my channel for future content. And you know, if you have any questions on Landius or any other units, feel free to ask me in the comments or feel free to ping me on Discord. I'm pretty easy to find. All right, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you later.